Hello, and welcome back to South Coast Busways here at the SC Garage, where we're looking at the long neglected Solent Limited fleet. These very high spec B5TL Right Eclipse Gemini 3s were meant to run on two routes between Southampton and Gosport and Southampton and Portsmouth. But there's only one. There is only one Solent Limited service right now. And it's been that way for a very, very long time. It's been so long that I think it's time we finally address it. But first, we have a new member of the fleet. Going all the way over, this is the new MD type. Now it might look like any old Evo SETI, but it's actually a multicolored manufacturing DE1LE DMC. Now this is a diesel electric, I've no idea what that means. Is it like a Rootmaster? Or is it like a E400H? But this is this is what this is. And it's very interesting. We've been given one to demo. Hence the custom plate D10 MCM. And yes, it is the MD type. This is MD1. And it will be running alongside the WVs on the 5. It has broadly taken over um, the full board of one of these buses, I believe, HX17 SNA, which I, f I find it here, this one, broadly taken over this one's board. So this one will be going out significantly less for the moment. But that is, that is that, we have a, a new demo bus, that will be running that board on the 5 for this episode and next, and then we'll see what we do with it. It's an interesting type, a dual door, which I'm, I mean, it'll work on the 5 actually, it'll work on the 5, that's probably a good shout. Anywho. There's the sort of, there's the lay of the land for this episode. Obviously last episode we got the 61 operational, which is over here, between Southampton and Langley, with just big breaks in the stops. It's like multiple little local services linked by non-stop sections. It's really weird. But obviously that ties in with the route that we haven't lodged yet, the six, which is much the same in terms of its presentation on a map. But this time, today, let's have a look at the Solent Limited once more. It is time for the Route 100 between Southampton, Southampton and Portsmouth. Portsmouth will get its second bus route this series, and that is something I really want to rectify at one point, uh, or at some point, I really want to rectify it. So let's start that right now.
and the 100 is done. So, between Southampton and Titchfield, it duplicates the 200, but because it's been so long since I put that in, let's just give it a quick little recap. Starts from Southampton Central Station, goes down through Southampton City Centre, across this bridge, I forget the name of it, through Bitturn, and then down this big main road all the way through to Lower Swanick. Uh, Swanick, Swanick. Keep going, and then we diverge from the 200 at Titchfield Bypass. In fact, the diversion point is here, at this junction. From here, we are on new roads, or new route for the Solin Limited, stopping at Fareham College, Fareham Station, Fareham Bus Station. This stop on this side of Fareham Town Centre, because I thought it would be useful. Then stop on each side of Porchester. Stop here for changing or for interconnection interconnections interchanges to the um the what what is it? The the, the two twenty that goes up this way. Whereas the one hundred goes this way. And the game has decided that it wants to lag a bit. Love that. Aha! It was just an autosave, no need to panic. So we come down through this very round roundabout. This is a, such a beautiful circle, I love it. Stopping at Hilsey Lido, then at this old London Road area. Pretty fast into Portsmouth actually, we stop at North End Junction, Hanway Road, and the town centre, before going fast. I assume this is fast, to the interchange, where we've got our stand called Portsmouth Limited Stop. And that is about 23 miles each direction, which is very nice. So now I'm going to make this timetable form an even quarter hourly service between Southampton and Titchfield Bypass with the 200, which is going to be fun. However, I only have space at SC for 11 buses. Let's see if we can do it. I think we'll be able to do it. So, I will see you uh, when this is done. And the 100 is completed. We don't have enough buses, but we're not that far off. Note the, the rising pitch. But uh, yeah, we're not that far off. The moment of oof is currently 6am, which yeah, could be significantly better. But it's time enough for the money makers to at least allow us to use the exploit. Which I fully intend on doing. Obviously. Uh, MD1 will also be going out on its first shift, uh, a few things have changed there uh, because I redid the the entire shift system, like the entire shift distribution, it's changed because um, I basically just hit reset and then did an auto assign and then fixed it in order to make his, um, the Sonnet Limited work as well as possible today. Although I very much doubt that these will go properly because the money situation is only getting worse and time is counting down. Oh dear. Oh, hello. We got uh, some kind of cash bump there. Just 10,000 pounds out of- oh, that's, that's what that was. Very nice. Um, yeah, there's going to be some problems today on the uh, on the South Coast Busway system. That's fine. Probably something of an oversight that there's no stop here in Caddisfield, uh, which is like a western suburb of Fareham. But Fareham will have a very good town service sort of system. Aha, the Limited. Uh, pause the game so I can click on it. Let's join the Limited and see how it gets on. 
decently busy actually. 15 on board, first day before rush hour. That's not too bad, not too bad at all. For early in the episode as well, like, this could be a productive week. Ferrum is a mess. Um, I have no idea what's going on around here, but it seems to work. And we have a big wait here at Ferrum. Ooh, put it on two times speed, there we go. And yeah, now rush hour's hit. We're getting busy. I believe that was Ferrum College, yes. Next is Titchfield Bypass. Ooh, we have a better mobile app, isn't that good? Uh, driver wants a break. Go ahead. We're one minute late now, but that's fine. There are like no timing points along this section, uh, but the timing points in Southampton are generous. So that's fine. This is all good. Um, I fully expect these shifts to start cancelling. Um, that's, yep, 610's gone, the 625 will go, um, it's going to be a rocky start for the 100, and that's just how it's going to be. Is this a lag spike? Yeah, this is definitely a lag spike, I'm running on two times speed. So what I'm waiting for is enough money to buy one bus, because then I can buy 10 buses using the exploit. And I don't think I'll need 10, but I have 11 spaces free at Southampton City. And I believe I have 12 more of these to buy? It's either 12 or 16. Uh, let me check my South Coast spreadsheet Well, this waits to head back. And yeah, there are refurb Omni Cities going out on the 61. There's a bit of a shortage um, going on at the moment, which obviously wouldn't be the case in real life. If any route, if any of the Omni City routes would be experiencing a shortage, it would be the 36, uh, because that needs refurbished buses. But there we are, 43 people on board heading out of Southampton, which is a lot for outbound during the morning rush hour. So I wonder where they're all going. It could be Fairham. We're four minutes late there, which is not good. Two minutes late leaving Bitten. One minute late leaving uh, Bitten again. <laughs> leaving the other Bitten. One minute late there. Okay. Okay. Ooh, very fast road. Big runabout. Love that. Very busy. Very nice. But then again, this is the bit that sort of people already know about the Solent Limited. Because of the, um, the 200. So this is like, you know, we've doubled the Solent Limited service here. And the Solent Limited's a good service. It's very fast. And now it's pretty frequent. However, they all stayed on. They're all going probably to Farron? At a guess? Are they all going to Farron? No. Yeah, they're all going to Farron. They're all going to Farron. And Portchester. Okay. What about... What about Portsmouth? Anyone for Portsmouth? <laughs> no, not really. Well, then let's see how it does in Portsmouth. 21 on board. Okay. And then we get down to North End. And it's 25. 26. And then we sort of cut across into the city centre like this. 38 on board, 
why, why are there so many people on board going to the heart? Like, that makes no sense. But there we go. We have so much money now. Well, I say so much money. We have enough. So I'm going to start by buying 10 buses for the Sonic Limited out of SC. And I'm going to check my spreadsheet just to see which ones those will be. Because these will be sort of... They will be 17 plates. They won't be 67 plates like all the new ones are at the moment. Because I'm good at this. Right. Ajax 17... I believe I got up to 2116. 21. Yeah, 2116. So buy a new bus. Double decker. Game is paused. As you can see, there's a lot of vehicles that have been researched, including um, AG's beautiful Gemini 2s. I want to use those, they are lovely. Where is... that's the old Gemini 3, don't use that. There it is. There's my... my oh no, I want all the upgrades, and they're going to go into group 110. Ten of them, if you don't mind. What? I thought I only needed enough money for one of them. Have they fixed that now? I think they might have fixed the bug. Oh well. Um, well, I can't just say, oh well, we've got shifts that are about to cancel. So what I'll do is I'll just buy them one by one. We kind of have to at this point. So let's import repaint. Uh, Southern Vector, no. No, I don't want to be in Vector, so I want to be in red. No, I don't. I, um, this is actually a livery that I put under Solent Blue. Yeah, there it is. And these ones are going to be red front. These ones that I order for the 101 are going to be red front. No, actually, this one's going to be blue front. Uh, 117 was going to be blue front for some reason. Okay, uh, yeah, no no uh, blue front priv privileges yet. And I'm just going to go all the way over here. Uh, give it the fleet. And then this one is going to say... Uh, WV2117. Uh, so land limited... SC and it's going to be HX17 SMF There we go And now what I'm going to do is head over to that 1745 that finishes that can go there so let's just uh, go on a bit because we're making a lot of money like there we go I can get the next one which is going to be the first one of the red fronts which is going to be very nice. So let's go and buy the next one. West Fleet, uh, Marketplace, uh, B5TL Gemini 3 Mark 2. Do 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 do, so limited. The blue and the red fronts are going to be in the complete same group. It's just going to be like, you know, some of them will have a blue front, some of them will have a red front. And hopefully, you know, on any given day, there'll be a decent mix of blue front and red front on each route. So, this will get the 1110. 
And this one is HX17SMG or WV2118. Uh, very high fleet numbers. This is very nice. Solent Limited and SC, which is, of course, the garage coat. I think the red front looks very nice. Um, hold up. Shift schedule. Let me know which ones you uh, which one you prefer, the uh, blue front or the red front. I'm leaning more towards. Actually, I don't know. I think I'm leaning more towards the red front. So. The island, of course. Let's check up on the island. What are... What are the big Sitaros doing on the floor? Okay, hang on. The big Sitaros... are on the floor. That's not where they're meant to be. The big sitaras are meant to be chilling. We got those new sitaras for a reason. There they are. New sitaras. Get on, do your thing. And let's just, uh, I'm using all of them, I'm aware, I don't need to use all of them. Right, 20, 100. Let's go with you. 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 And then, 21, 10, 21, 30, cool, so that can go there. That can go there, and that can go there, because the uh, N25, which I should probably change just to make sure that they'll go automatically and I don't need to keep doing it manually, uh, the, um, the N25 is going to be using the 4's allocation going forward, which will of course be the baby Sitaris, that's probably not going to change for the rest of the series. Um, right, bush roots, uh, the N25, there we are, uh, edit timetable, you want, uh, SV root 4, um, ASV root 4. I need to do all these individually. This is a complicated timetable. Oh my. This is a pain. Uh, root 4. Root 4. Root 4. Root 4. Root 4. And root, hopefully, and root four. Yeah, confirm. There we go. How long have I been going, Senor OBS? Forty-eight minutes. Cool. So, uh, where is our demo? Where is the MD type? Where is the MD type? Because I want to find it to explain a little bit more about what it is. Uh, it should be on fives. Just look along the five for a grey bus. Oh, there it is. So, this 
this um, MCM DE1 LE. Uh, what 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 is it? What am I looking at? Well, it's an Evo SETI, uh, and the model is the Evo SETI on the B5LH. Um, and the DE1 LE is base is a mod that is sort of a template flip, well not a template flip, but like a template mod to turn it into something else. Um, and it's a fictional bus. Um, it's a fictional bus, and you know I thought it would be fun to partake in the whole fictional bus thing, at least for this one. I guess you know the 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 reaction to the fictional bus being included in the series will di will dictate whether National Busways approve of the type. So you know, what do you think about fictional buses being used in the series going forward? I'm open to it. Uh, am I a big fan of the Evo SETI? Absolutely not. I uh, I do not like these in real life. One of them broke my phone. So, you know. Please ignore the fact that it was me being stupid that broke my phone, and not the Evo SETI. I just happen to be stupid on an Evo SETI and break my phone. Anywho, this is going back to the depot. So, yeah. There's kind of not much you can do in City Bus Manager when you're this broke. Especially because we've got several routes that we've not activated yet. Like, we've got the six that we've not activated yet. And we have uh, the rest of the, the Porchester network that we've not activated yet, the P4 and P5. So that's fun. And I've got plans uh, for a new Route 30 that starts down in Southampton City Centre, goes up to the Central Station, and then goes across up this road to here, then goes up to the University, and then up here. Because up here are, like, is like a massive... Uh, student accommodation, like, campus. It, it includes, like, all these as well. Like, it's absolutely massive. <clears throat> and they are for the university down here, the main university of Southampton. So if the 30, the 30 is going to be, like, the main unibus. And there's going to be more unibuses than just the 30. Um, the, the 36 could be considered a unibus. There's going to be another unibus maybe that goes from like maybe here down pops into Highfield up to Glen Aya, which is with the name of this area or like you know a unibus that links Southampton and Winchester or something like that but these are all these are all plans I've got I've got enough money I can buy another Gemini 3 to quickly get this allocation not dead so let's go back to SC, bus fleet, new one, German I3 Mark II, all the upgrades, very nice, Solent Limited, one off, import repaint, we want red front, isn't that nice? This is going to be a Solent Limited SC uh, WV uh, 2119 License plate HX17SMH Yeah, SMH is the current state of the network Go. We have bus driver. That bus has immediately gone out on shift. There it is. Bus has left. I like that. 1840, that comes back. So 1855. Oh, that's going out on a 5. Interesting. Okay. That is certainly a decision. So 
So I guess this episode is going to be this episode is going to be about rocky starts, I think. So we've got a demo fleet of one of these MD types. Uh, which is you know, I always like I always like the idea that a demo should be a small batch. You know, the optimum situation for a demo is it gets one route dedicated to it. But every boss on that route will be the trial batch. So, you know, these single demonstrators, I guess they're useful, but you can't beat having a full batch of the bus. But I think that is a good place to end it from this very, very busy Southampton and Solent Red with the new doubled up as it was intended to be Solent Limited. Bye bye.